this is primary election day in four states, but in two weeks we have the primaries here in Kentucky. And I brought along Lee Cruz. We've been talking a lot of politics over the last year or so to break down what is the biggest race, I think, in two weeks, the Democratic primary here in the 6th Congressional District, Jim Gray, Amy McGrath, and Reggie Thomas. Now, we talked a long time ago that we thought this was kind of Jim Gray's race to lose. Mm -hmm. Two weeks out, do you still think that's the case? No, I think it's tightened up. And I told you a few weeks ago, I thought, I feel like Amy's got a lot of momentum. And first, you got to give a lot of credit to her campaign staff and the ads that they put together where they connect on an emotional level. Mm -hmm. um, now, since then, I think it, the mayor has gained some momentum back because he's countered those, and he's talked about fighting the opioid crisis. So it's you getting You saw a close. shift, I think, at our debate. I think so, too. I think too. he started shifting to the opioid crisis yeah. as sort of a talking point. What's interesting is Jim Gray is a popular mayor. And, to, and you wouldn't think that he would be vulnerable, but Amy McGrath, I agree with you. Her campaign has been amazingly stellar. stellar. From has. the first ad that yeah. came out where she's walking in front of the fighter jet and right. looking all badass yeah. to now showing her kids, et cetera, right. and all that. I was struck today, Lee, I was driving around Woodford County, like in the rural parts of Woodford County. I was struck with how many Amy McGrath signs I saw. I think there's a lot more support outside of Lexington for her maybe than I realized. You gotta think about the resume she's got. You don't find that many candidates who can connect to mothers because of the kids. Meanwhile, Dry, uh, drop a uh, you know a bomb right down Saddam Hussein smokestack. <laughs> That's a pretty good combination. I mean, it's an itch. She's tough when you look at just her credentials, and they've taken advantage of that. They now just the, didn't let that go away. Now the polls in this race are all over the place. I yeah. mean, in April, a poll was released that had uh, I, I want to say Jim Gray up thirty. But then Amy McGrath so, uh, apparently leaked an internal poll a few weeks ago that had her up eight. I think it's really hard to poll nowadays because people don't answer their cell phones and it's mm -hmm. tough. Do, do you get a sense, I mean, do you think it's, I think it's very close, but do you think it's as, these polls, how do you explain how far apart they are? Well, it's what we've been dealing with because of the metrics they use. So like you said, there's no landlines anymore. It's yes. hard to get a hold of people. So you're just doing guesstimates. And that's why we've missed on so many. When you look at prognosticators, they screw it up all the time. In this state How many cycles have we screwed up? Especially in this state. So, this state has screwed it up badly, going back to Alice London Grimes and Mitch McConnell, the governor's race, et cetera. As stupid as it sounds, I feel much better about just using my own intuition. Yeah, that's weird. Because I, I But I just, when I talk to people and I drive around, I look at signage and I look at how the ads impact on an emotional level, I'm telling you, it's a tight race. And what may happen is Reggie yeah. may end up influencing this campaign by stealing votes away from one or the other. And my gut feeling is he's going to steal them away from the mayor. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, Reggie tends to be a little bit of more of the liberal candidate, and you're not sure who he steals from. I think there have been two important events in this, in this primary so far. Number one was Amy McGrath's ads to start. I think yeah. that put her on the map yep. and made her a viable candidate. And I do think I've had a lot of people bring up to me the debate. Mm -hmm. And when Reggie asked her about those counties. I, I, I think that resonated with people, but maybe not for Reggie and more yeah, for her. Sympathy. I, I, I do think it helped her, her, oddly. Yeah. Yeah. So now going forward, there's still two weeks left. Something can still happen. If you're the mayor mm -hmm. and you're the person that was supposed to have won this, what do you do over the next two weeks? Well, you counter. You got to do all your grassroots efforts, but you got to counter with those emotional ads. And he's starting to do that. And again, with the opioid and looking at his resume and what he's done as an executive for the city of Lexington, I think you got to tout that. But you got to do it on a connective level and you got to get people who know how to do it. If you're a Democrat and you're watching, this and you're trying to decide who I, I want to vote for the one that'll beat Andy Barr. I, Who's got a better chance of beating Andy Barr? Jim Gray, Amy McGrath. You know, I, I don't know because they, they both have different qualities. One, she could probably compete with Andy on foreign, foreign policy, policy. Yeah. and Jim as far as business. So, you know, they got a couple of things that they bring to the table. I Again, think both of them will beat him. I do. I, I don't know that that's true, though. Because we'll what, see. they're beating up each other right now, which is but good you know, news it hasn't been very nasty. It's not been nasty, but it's costing money. Will it get nasty? 
Probably in the fall. I think something's going to happen yeah. in the next Oh, you mean in the primary? In the, in the primary? Yeah. Is, some, is there going to be some attack? I hope not. I've heard that there's I, some attacks coming this week. If, if it does, it doesn't help them. I, I, I completely agree. If you go them. negative, candidate, right, quickly, it's going to hurt Who's you. winning? You know what? I, I'm going to say Amy McGrath wins this one. Yeah. I think it's a toss-up. I really do. I'm going to say Jim Gray just because I think there's a silent majority of people in Lexington you don't hear from that like him yeah. as mayor. But it wouldn't shock me if either one of them wins. Yeah, and, me either. And, and Amy deserves it's a lot of credit for making it a race.